when news of Princess Diana's separation from Prince Charles reached the ears of then-American businessman Donald Trump the future 45th President of the United States allegedly began bombarding the Princess of Wales with flowers. It is claimed that Donald Trump's courting reached a point where Princess Diana said, he gives me the creeps. According to British TV star Selena Scott, Trump pursued Diana quite aggressively. Miss Scott wrote in the Sunday Times, Trump clearly saw Diana as the ultimate trophy wife. As the roses and orchids piled up at her apartment she became increasingly concerned about what she should do. It had begun to feel as if Trump was stalking her. Princess Diana and Donald Trump did meet once, though never dated. The pair did meet once, though never dated, and after the princess died, Trump had the following exchange on air with Howard Stern, you could have nailed her, right? Stern asked Trump. Trump replied, I think I could have. Then in 2000, Trump once again reminded the world that he had wanted to have sex with Diana, saying, she was crazy, but those are minor details. President Trump will come to Britain for a state banquet hosted by Queen Elizabeth II at Buckingham Palace on Monday. He will also meet Diana's sons, Harry and William. The First Lady Melania Trump will accompany the President to the opulent ballroom in Windsor Castle. On Monday, the first day of Mr. Trump's three-day trip, a ceremonial welcome attended by the Queen, Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall will be held in the Buckingham Palace Garden. Heads of state are usually welcomed to the UK on Horse Guards Parade, rather than in the palace grounds. After the welcome, the Duke of Sussex will join the group for a private lunch at the palace.